The wolf is an imposing predator that instills fear in both its prey and those who encounter it. With their powerful jaws, sharp teeth, and unrelenting aggression, they are a formidable opponent for any creature that crosses their path. However, what happens when humans become the target of these deadly creatures? In this episode, we will share a terrifying true story of one of the worst wolf attacks ever recorded. A group of young boys found themselves fighting for their lives after being brutally mauled by a lone wolf. It is a chilling reminder of the dangers that lurk in the wilderness. Please show your support by liking and subscribing to our channel. The Tsuninsky district is a small but close-knit community located in the Republic of Dagestan, southwest Russia. Surrounded by snow-capped mountains and lush green fields, it boasts an impressive array of wildlife that occasionally ventures into human territory. However, this peaceful coexistence was shattered on July 28, 2022, when three young boys aged between seven and nine went swimming in the nearby river. Despite their mother's warnings about the dangers of the forest, the boys decided to explore the area. They were having a good time until they heard a whistling sound from behind them. Their worst fears were confirmed when they spotted the yellow eyes of a gray wolf emerging from the darkness. The wolf was a fierce predator and quickly decided to make the boys its prey. The children knew what to do when faced with a wolf, but their fear got the better of them. They turned and ran, but the wolf gave chase and soon caught up with them. In a matter of seconds, the youngest boy was bitten on the leg and pulled to the ground. The wolf then attacked the other boys, but the eldest fought back, throwing rocks at the animal to save his friends. Although the boys survived the attack, they were severely injured and covered in their own blood. The incident serves as a stark reminder of the dangers that lurk in the forest and the importance of respecting the boundaries between human and wildlife habitats. The wolf attacked the boys, knocking over the nine-year-old with ease. The boy screamed, but it was silenced as the animal grabbed him by the throat. The youngest boy, who watched in horror, realized that his other friend had escaped and would soon bring help to save them both. The wolf continued to maul the helpless boy, knowing that it would soon start to eat him. The youngest boy watched in terror as his friend's struggle slowly came to an end, his lifeless body face down in the dirt. As the wolf dragged the limp body away, the young boy lost consciousness and fell back into the blood-soaked dirt. The boy who had escaped ran for help, fearing for his own safety. He reached his house and quickly explained what he had seen. Emergency services were contacted, and police and paramedics were dispatched to the area. After hours of searching, they found the youngest boy with a large gaping hole in the side of his neck, unconscious and pale. The search continued for the missing nine-year-old, and eventually, his torn and mangled body was found miles away. The town came together to mourn the loss of the boy and to search for the wolf. The youngest boy was transferred to a hospital for modern treatment, where he was stabilized after months of intensive care. He returned home to his grateful parents, but the memory of his friend's brutal mauling would never leave him.